And every once in a while you feel real good. Your stuff will get good to you. things and something come to him and says uh, I don't want you to wash my clothes I don't want you to wear fine clothes I don't want you cause some sad and blue but I just want to make love to you, love to you, love to you, I don't want you to be my slave, I don't want you to work all day, I don't want you too but I just want to make love to you love to you love to you I can tell by the way you switch and walk I can tell by the way that you baby talk I know Because I'm sad and blue, but I just want to make love to you, love to you. I'll tell you what, now let's get together, the man who wrote this tune, bring him up here with a nice big hand, Mr. Willie, Willie James Dixon, how about a hand for him, big Dixon, Willie Dixon, yeah Bill, yeah Bill. Come on, Willie Dixon! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Tell me about it. I don't want you to be no slave. I don't want you to work all day. I don't want you Wanna make love to you, love to you, love to you, baby, love to you. I tell you what, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a good time here. We're gonna let our hair down, pull off your shoes, and we'll all have a stinking good time. And what we're gonna start off with tonight we're gonna bring baby do on here and let him do a tune that he and i used to do some years ago i haven't been playing in fact i got a new bass fill here just in town i can't hardly find the strings on it but i'm gonna attempt to do it with it this little tune is called sandy sandy free Sandy 
Thank you, thank you, ladies and gents. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about the blues. You know, the blues are the roots of all American music. The blues are the true facts of life expressed in words and songs and inspiration. And the blues are my heritage. And the blues are here to stay. There are many things about the blues that will be expressed in these songs. And I want everybody to know, since the blues are the true facts of life, when people wrote blues years and generations ago, they was thinking about something that was happening in their life or something that, and you'll find that there's a blues that fits you one way or the other. And I've been fooling around with these blues all my life, you know. And I think I'm ready. Where's guy that gave a song that was Muddy Water? That was his big hit. Hoochie Coochie Man. That was his big hit. Yeah. And then I gave him I'm Ready. And uh, I gave Lil' Walter my babe. Oh, and from then on, everybody. See, we was we we played at Smitty's Corner, uh, yeah. in Chicago on 35th in Indiana years ago. Me, when before Muddy Waters ever was known, me and Willie, we had the big three trio, and uh, we would go on the west side to play, and they'd be right down the streets. They'd come in and see us. Yeah, you know, Muddy cool. Waters was driving the truck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, him and Little Walter and all of them. And after he got with Chess and Dixon gave him some songs. He made that long distance call. Yeah. And uh, Dixon gave him some songs, and when he started recording all these things, it was, it was a go-go. I mean, this when Muddy Water got big. And we, you know, we used to be out uh, strolling around different places in, on Madison Street and Clark Street and out, uh, out there in Jewtown and places in Chicago. And he says, uh, you know what, Deuce? Uh, um, we'd playing all this other stuff, says, but I'm going to write a tune one of these days and say, I'm going to make me some money. I said, man, don't nobody want to hear that junk you got, you know. <laughs> he said, you know what? He said, Markenberg plays everybody's tune, but he don't have none of his own. So he had a bird that Markenberg don't have his own song. He sings all the songs the other birds sing. He said, but I'm going I'm to write one tune that's going to make me a lot of money. So I just, you know, I said, well, go ahead and do it. So the next thing I know, Muddy Water had made this, I just want to make love to you, love to you. And this tune was everywhere. So if you don't have the blues today, you will definitely have them tomorrow if you didn't have them yesterday. So Baby Duke Caston is going to tell you about his blues because he just told me he say he think he have the blues. So let him tell you about it. He think he got the blues. I don't know what jazz is, but I'm willing to learn. But when I get the blues, something deep down in the burn. I know I got the blues. Like this before. I 
a shower. I think he have the blues with all that type of indications. I'm sure he have the blues. But you know, since there are blues about everything and blues about all the facts of life, you don't have to reach no certain category for the blues because the blues have just about every music in it and every story in it that is in the facts of life. So I'm going to tell you, since the world is in a come around today we're going to give you a little knowledge of the blues a little wisdom of the blues because we're going to talk about the people and the people represent everything everybody and we're going to talk about the shape the world is in you know the world is in a heck of a shape today and believe it or not the shape things are in determines a lot tells you a lot because if you see something that's round you know it rolls you see something that's flat you know it sits on one side and when you see somebody that 
built like this. See, he would have to be built for speed. But you see, somebody like me, I'm built for comfort. Stones recording uh, Little Red Rooster. And what was Well, about that, Little Red Rooster, I tell you one of the things, me and Memphis Slim, this was way after me and Baby Do hadn't been together quite a bit. And I had him been working at Chess Company, too, for a while. And then we couldn't, Memphis Slim and I, we wasn't getting enough work. And then uh, he said one day, he said, man, we got to start trying to promote the blues because the people get into the place, they don't hear the blues. He say, look, we well, gonna get one night's work. And I say, man, I got a pretty good name. I say, yeah, I ain't too bad as a name myself, you know. And so we talked about it all the time. When we were in England, we were playing in Piccadilly Square. And I think this is how most of those people got a hold of most of our numbers because there was a lot of youngsters that always wanted to come in and they wouldn't let them in to show where we were playing. And so they would come around the back to the back door and Memphis Slim and I would let them in the back door where they could hear us play and sing these songs. And they liked them. And they would tell us all about what they was going to do and when they get older, you know, and how they was going to sing these songs because the blues was relatively new over there. In fact, only a few people had them, and that was those record collectors or something like that. And a couple of guys had even called themselves writing blues, but they were writing about blues artists. They would come to Chicago and get pictures of Jew Town or some raggedy joint and say, this is the blues, you know. So we got to talking about it, and these kids, when we got ready to leave there, we went different places and I put, oh, I had gobs of songs. I just put them on everybody's tapes, you know, and tell them this, anytime you want to just put this on the tape, you know, and, and play it. And so sure enough, a few years later, here they come. And they sing, I knew guys was coming to tell me, you remember me? I met you Piccadilly Square behind the stage. I was a little boy. Well, he's a guy well, like yeah, Jagger. Yeah, they turned out to be Mick Jagger and some of the Rolling Stones. I couldn't remember myself, but they remembered me. Yeah, and the birds and this, well, I remember this Long John because he was the tallest one of all the youngsters. And uh, he's still a tallest one. <laughs> the 
little girl to me. shape of things. You know, the blues vary in so many different ways until you could have the blues today because your girlfriend quit you or your husband quit you or your boyfriend quit you. Then you could have the blues tomorrow because she come back to you. There are many ways of the blues. What do you think the effect has been of, of groups like the Stones and the Yardbirds and Eric Clapton, basically sort of middle-class white youth taking your music and really popularizing it? Well, frankly, I'm glad they did because this was the idea in the first place was to get blues known to the public. And uh, they had that way of uh, making different changes of it, but it just shows us a wide variety of the blues. And... Uh, I'm very glad they did because nine times out of ten they probably wouldn't have ever got as popular as they are today because through a lot of those rock artists and things like that, I give them credit for helping to promote the blues in a, in, to a position where the, the world is interested in them today. And nine times out of ten, had it not been for them, it wouldn't have happened because I remember just like Big Mama Thornton, she made that song about blue dog. suede shoes and hound no, dog and like that. Couldn't hardly give it away, but the minute Abbott Presley done it, it was a hit. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it happened with a lot of songs. Because a lot of times, they, with brand blues songs, you go to various stations, and they do that even today. You go to various stations and ask them about playing the blues, and they'll tell you we don't have no program or no format for the blues. Right. And they won't play them. That's right. That's right. And, and so how can you promote something when they won't play them? So that's the reason right now I started this foundation of Blues Heaven so that we can get some promotion down on the blues and get some of these people that haven't been heard of or known about. Now, just like we had the Big Three Trio, we made this song, We We Baby, You Sure Look Good to Me, which was a prickly blues song, and we put harmony to it, and we've done it in three-part harmony, and it was a great big seller. In fact, but we couldn't get no blues job. We had to go and work everywhere but blues. Baby. It's utterly impossible to know anything about the future because the world goes around in circles. And through many generations in biblical history, they have often talked about people that was able to tell you a lot of things. And I noticed that people were so wise to know so many things that they could tell you in advance, I wouldn't be a poor man today. That's right. And I imagine you wouldn't be either. But it takes the blues to bring out the truth. And there have been many people that have talked many things they don't know, but I'm going to tell you something I know because of my birth. And that's why I can talk about this song, which is called The Seventh Son.
I'll be singing my home. Oh, I'll be singing my home. Oh, I'll be singing my home. Deep down in the jungles, you hear those tum tums ring. There's a rhythm behind that music, boy. They call it the jungle swing. People from a many nations. Wonder what it's all about, but the deep dark jungle rhythm man can nearly about knock you out. Oh, listen to the jungle music, oh, listen to the weary sound, oh, listen to the drummer swinging man, the rhythm come rumbling down. something everybody have but they don't realize they have because blues is an unsatisfied mind you uh, you can be real depressed feel someone and feel that's like uh, the whole everything is down you got the blues that's the reason the people years ago see that all that wanted to always say uh, wanted to tell these stories that other people thought was no good the guy got singing about his woman and left him nobody know I had that experience but him and he feel like he's telling somebody else what's going on. You see, all of this derived from the church. I mean, people in the church, when they used to, I mean, uh, back in the old slavery days, when, when black people could not get out and express themselves, they used to put their heads up on the pot and they'd get up under that and sing harmony. This was the thing that they was feeling. So, I mean, this is something that went on with, with these people expressing themselves, and it, it, it come out. 
See, it come out under those parts. And back in the olden days, people like Bessie Smith were discovered, Maul Rainey was discovered, and they would start recording these people singing these blues down in the bottom parts of Mississippi and Alabama and Tennessee and, uh, and Louisiana and, you know, and Maul Rainey, and they start recording these people. These things went over so big. And they were singing a they, lot of them that never got re yeah. recorded. Yeah, I know yeah, people that's right, right now that have that, that just like little brother Montgomery, little brother plays tunes that people like shaking his shoulders and all them guys. Oh and, yeah, brothers was know that. And he knew all them guys and none of them got a chance to record. This is why he came up with all them different styles of playing the piano. Mm -hmm. And it's, and I like it, you know, and he can tell you the name of everybody that done it. You see, the thing about it, a lot of times you couldn't make no money with the blues, but through these different types of people playing these blues in different manners and creating a wider, a wider experience of the blues that gives the blues a much better chance today than ever before. You know, the blues speak of so many things and making a kind of variety of the program. It requires a lot of different facts of life that we must know about. And when you think about the various nations of the earth, the various religions of the earth, the various nationalities, the various people all over the world, have been able to make anything that we want to make and do anything we want to do. Have created miracles. But it don't make sense when we can't make peace. You know, you made everything else. Wise men, great men, from every nation in the world, all the countries in the world have all kinds of conventions and festivals. Spend all the money. Suppose you had to spend half as much money on trying to make peace as you have in making war. We wouldn't have to worry about nothing. But it don't make sense. It don't make sense. It don't make sense when you can't make peace. Let the man live. 
You make a blood transfusion that can save a life. You even change the darkness into broad daylight. very kindly it don't make sense but it's only the blues gonna tell you the truth because the blues have nothing to lose they've been walking on the blues ever since the beginning they told all kinds of lies of all the types about the blues you can make everything but you can't make peace one of the reasons you can't make peace because everybody is raising hell. Everybody trying to take a piece of somebody else's something. Trying to take a piece of a lot of things that don't even belong to you. You can't make peace, but you can raise hell. I tell you what else you can do. You can pitch a ball. You can have a lot of fun. Because you ain't thinking about nothing but having some fun and letting your hair down. I bet you can pitch a wang dang doodle any time you get ready. Slim, to tell Reza, Toten, Jim, to tell Butcher Knife, Toten, Nanny, to tell Flash, Talking, Fanny. We gonna pitch a ball down to that union hall. We gonna rope and thump till midnight. We gonna fuss and fight till daylight. We gonna pick you wang dang doodle all night long. We gonna pick you, Wayne, then all 
night long To tell cool and falling red To tell love to sing your name Tell old pistol Pete To tell everybody he meet Tonight we need no rest We're gonna really throw a mess We're gonna break down all the windows We're gonna kick down all the doors We're gonna pick your wine and doodle all night long in here to help me to sing this song. When I say all night long and raise my arms like this, I want you to say all night long. All right? All right. All right. All right. Get with it. Get with it. Get with it.
is a man who really knows what to do with the blues. I say no what to do with the blues. Help me on. Help me on. When a man get the blues, when a man get the blues, he go down to the railroad station. Don't have a penny in his pocket. He sat and wait for the train. If he don't go to the railroad station, he go out to the airport and wait for that red big bird to come along so he can hop on and fly, fly, fly away the blues. Let's give Willie Dixon a nice big hand for singing the blues. All night long. All night long. All night long. All night long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with it. Hey, Bill.